Hello, I am the Clay Golem. This is Foundry VTT version 12. We're in Curse of Strahd, the Benios version, uh, which we looked at in the last video. And it's beautiful and it's lovely and it does amazing things. But now I've slept on it, um, I want, I, yeah, I, I always kind of like cogitate in the background. Now I've slept on it. There are some challenges, overwhelmed by how gorgeous it is. But um, let's have a look. On the right hand side, I've got all my folders here. Um, for my scenes. So if we look in the Gates of Barovia folder, we've got a bright version, which includes the intro, which is the video, uh, the battle map for the road, a battle map for the front view, and a scene for the front view. We've got a battle map for the back view, and a scene for the back view. We've got the overview, then we've got the same for the dark version, uh, and then we've got the undamaged versions. That is a lot of scenes just for going through some gates. Um, and of course you want to make it descriptive and of course you want to set atmosphere and things like that. That's an awful lot of scenes. Uh, and I'm not going to use them all, am I? I'm just not, realistically. Now one thing to bear in mind, because I've, this is the second time I've tried to record this video because I encountered an issue, you need to bear in mind that these maps are all linked. So if you just willy-nilly go and delete scenes when you've got them all installed, if you would delete the bright version, uh, you may find you accidentally also delete the dark version because it's the same resource, it's just the lighting that's different. <laughs> so yeah, you can guess how I found that out. Um, so I've reinstalled them all. But what I need to do, realistically, I think, is I, I'm, I'm fine with the navigation bits. But things like the gates of Barovia, what do I want? Do I want the light version? Do I want the dark version? Do I want the battle map? Do I want the scene? And I think I want to get rid of everything else I'm not using. Um, so I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call it unused. So I'm going to dump all the bits I'm not actually using in there to get them out of the way. So my scene flow on my right hand side is just going to work nice and seamlessly because again, one of the challenges is if we, um, what's a what's a good one to pick on? Uh, if I go to the um, bright, ver oh, I'm right on it. There we go, the overview. So if I go to here, we've got all these links and things which are absolutely gorgeous. Am I going to use these to navigate my way around? And I think the answer is, is no, I'm not. That's not the way I feel that's going to work for me particularly well, trying to remember which one takes me where. Um, yeah, I know they've got the icons different, and it's probably be fine to get get quite used to it. But I want mine in the right-hand side. That's just what's going to work for me much, much better. Uh, so I need to tidy these folders up. So, for example, I'm just going to do the Gates of Barovia for this one, but that, this is essentially what I'm going to do for the whole thing is I'm going to go through and go, right, Gates of Barovia. Do I want light or dark? Well, I'm going to want a mixture, actually. Um, so I'm going to have bright at the front. Do I want that player intro bright video? I think I might keep that, whether I use it or not. Um, so I'm just going to dump that back into the actual bright version folder. No, I'm not, actually. I'm <laughs> Hang on, I'll find it in a second. Um, Player intro bright. I'm going to drop that directly into the Gates of Barovia folder. Do I want the overview? I'm not going to use these overviews. I really don't think I am. I'm going to drop that into unused. Just get it out of my way. Um, so this intro folder is now empty. I should be able to delete that folder without causing the problems I did before. Do I want this battle map of the road? Uh, there's no reason to use a battle map at this point. Um, but it's a nice map. I'm going to keep that and I'm actually going to drop this into a folder I've called clearings and campsites. So I can just pull that out whenever I want. I can rename it of course. Pull that out whenever I want um, and use that. Right, bright version of the road folder is now empty so let's get rid of that. Uh, front. Do I want to use the battle map at the front or do I want to use the scene? For me, I'm going to be using the scene. I'm going to drag that down to unused. Just get rid of it. And I'm going to drag this straight into the gates of Barovia. Okay. So in the bright version now, I've got front. That's empty. I'm going to get rid of it. Uh, the back. Again, am I going to use the battle map? I'm going to use. I'm not going to use the battle map. I'm going to get that out of there. And am I realistically going to use the back of the gates? 
I'm not going to be using a bright version for that. I'm going to drag that down to unused. So again, this folder three here. So this is just all I'm doing is I'm going to finish this and then I'll show you kind of what the final thing looks like. Right, dark versions. I'm not going to be using the dark intro. Get rid of that. I'm not going to be using the dark overview. Get rid of that. Uh, am I going to be using the dark road? I'm going to drag that into my clearings and things. So I've, I'm going to have to rename them because they both say the same thing at the moment. But one is night, one is dark, which is nice. Um, am I going to be, so my intro is empty, my roads is empty, my front, I'm not using the dark ones for the front anyway, so I'm going to drag those to unused. And I, again, I don't want to delete them because the maps are linked in the background, the images and things like that. If I delete one, it does impact. If I delete the day one, suddenly the night one doesn't work. Okay, found that out the hard way. Um, what about the back? Am I going to use the back? I'm not going to use battle map. Get rid of that. I might keep this, but I want to use the darker version. It's not that dark, but it is darker than the one at the front. So I'm going to keep that and drag that back up there. So folder empty, folder empty, folder empty, folder empty. Okay, so I can get rid of those folders completely. Right, the intact version. So again, this is play intro bright. Um, I thought I'd already put that in the right place. Oh good, right, yeah I did. Uh, do I need the images for the intact gates? I'm not going to be using them. I'm going to drum them into unused. And if I desperately do need them for some reason, I, I, they're, they're still there. They're just hidden away from me. So my intact folder is now empty. Let's get rid of that. My bright folder is empty. Let's get rid of that. So now, for me, running this, Gates of Barovia. I've only got three. I've got the front scene, I've got the back scene, and I've got the player intro. Okay, that's it. And I can, again, I can rename these um, quite easily. I can just go to configure. Just make sure it says what it what it what I want it to say. Um, that's easier, isn't it? That's much easier for me to navigate. So at Gates of Barovia, if I choose to use the video, here it is. That's going to run fine. Um, then they're going to, I could move to the static one or come straight here without using the video. Lovely jubbly. And if they go through and I want to show them the back of it for whatever reason, again, that's right there. Bosh. Look how many I've removed from that one area that I'm not going to be using. So am I end up storing loads of stuff I don't need? Yes, I am. Um, how expensive is disk space? <laughs> it's not. Um, but I'm so I'm using the functionality that's here, um, but I don't need to. So yes, again, so just a word on the patron thing. There are two levels of patron. I went all whole hog, 17 pounds. That's great British pounds. Obviously, you need to translate to your region. Um, a month for the Patreon, which is one of the more expensive ones, but look at the quality of stuff we're getting. Now, I went for that, and that is giving me all of the interactive bits and stuff that actually I'm probably not really going to use, right? <laughs> so I've got the whole thing that's built for me, and I've just shredded half of that out straight away. There is a cheaper tier. It's much cheaper, which is files only. So you're not going to get all this set up, but you are going to get all of the maps and things. So in hindsight, I've already paid for mine and I wanted to make sure I showcase the top quality one. In hindsight, what I would probably be doing if I was doing this from scratch is I would be going for that cheaper tier and I would just be bringing in all the maps and assets and things. Now, I'm not 100% sure if those maps coming in on the lower tier are already built with walls and stuff like that. I'm not sure. Um, I would have to check that out. I can't remember what it said, um, but just be aware of that. So there might be more building stuff, but we have still got all the assets. It's got all of the files. You can build it yourself how you want to, rather than what I've done, which is go, I've got everything, and now I'm stripping out the stuff I don't want. Um, but that's that's kind of what I feel I need to do with this, just to make it manageable. Yeah, this is all fine, navigation and stuff like that. And then Gates of Barovia, I've got a nice, short, easy section. Then the Winter's Fallich Woods. And of course, I've got, again, I've got the road. I've got the Grassland Camp. I've got the road. I've got road two. I've got road three. I've got the woods themselves with the corpse, with the woods, with the woods, with the camp. <laughs> uh, that's quite a lot, isn't it? 
and again do I want that many now when we think of my other version that I built totally from scratch myself the whole of that Svalich road albeit there's quite a few layered tiles it's actually one scene with lots of layered tiles the gates is actually it's built into part of the journey towards the road so I've essentially got two roads I've got the the road to get to the gates and then I've got the road through the woods using tiles on top of that it's just a different way of doing it and I don't think either one is necessarily better than the other obviously the setup on this one is much quicker because they've done it for me which is great but I do need to do these editing things or I feel I need to do these editing things you might not you might kind of go no you're happy to navigate using the tools they provided the hours of effort they've put into to get in that all smooth um I just don't think it's for me one thing I do want to do now I've gone on about making those changes we just want to check that this does all work for us um, and I am going to check those linkages so if I go to the um, if I go to the regional map um, yeah that works I can come back here uh, and now if I want to go to the gates of Barovia and activate that scene it can still the links are still there so just the fact that I've moved it so let's go to the battle map of the front I moved that I went to the scene didn't I <laughs> um, but I can do it this way um, there we go so even though I've moved that into the unused folder I can still access them all if I want to so I can still navigate this way if I would like so I just wanted to check that that still works um, but as I said previously repeating myself now this Gates of Barovia I've got three scenes I may or may not use the video I may or may not use the back at uh, the back one um, I will definitely be using this one but the others possibly not and it's going to be the same with the Svalich road I mean do I need three versions of the road no well hang on a minute let's have a look so this is this is a scene am I going to use that scene or am I potentially going to use the battle map well I might kind of go oh actually the battle map I'm going to put that in my clearings and campsites um, go through and rename all of those and then matter where the party stop I've got bam I can just smack out a, a map and go yep we'll use this one it's in the same theme as the rest of the module which is nice um, but when they randomly want to camp somewhere it's like yep okay you set up camp it's because it's getting dark here you are we can smack down um, their actors on here and of course we potentially can if we want to I probably wouldn't bother with this um, but what we potentially can do is like oh we can go to our tile browser and drag out tents or whatever it is to make sure we can make it look like a campsite I probably won't bother um, you'll be lucky if I even bother going oh yeah let's put a campfire out right <laughs> because theatre of the mind will take care of all of that we don't need to have everything illustrated it depends on the game you're playing and the feel you're going for for me Strahd is very much about atmosphere and stuff it's not about bling which is why even in my original Strahd one it was like no I'm not going to have lots of automations on here I don't want to be worrying about iffy um, mechanics and things I want people focusing on the story and the atmosphere uh, even when battles the things are happening going to keep that as traditional as I kind of can um, but I do want to use the scenes and things so um, that's my take on this at the moment I think that's for me that's the way forward what do you think do you think that makes sense are you happy using or you know if you would would you be happy using these controls instead I mean it might just be my old man brain that I'm kind of like oh yeah hang on a minute I've got to remember what goes where so, see this doesn't make sense to me to, to jump to here I can go through the gates oh no it's up there go through the gates right I'm out the back of the gates right top down that's fine but I don't need a battle map for that so is it just me would you use these built in functions or would you prefer to use scenes on the right hand side I'm just interested it doesn't matter whatever works for you and your group that's the only thing that matters um, right anyway um, oh I did uh, just notice by the way the, the player handouts here they're kind of uh there we go double click them and we get the player handouts that we can then show to players lovely um right yeah let me know in the comments <laughs> sorry a bit of a weird one bit of a rambling just some of my thought process when it comes to yeah I've got all this beautiful stuff how do i run this how do i make this nice for my players that's it uh leave a like leave a comment if you're not subscribed it would be great if you did 
no pressure. Take care.